This video delves into the lives of real-life human giants, individuals whose extraordinary height set them apart in history. The first giant covered is Robert Wadlow, who holds the record as the tallest person in recorded history. Born in 1918 in Alton, Illinois, Robert Wadlow reached a staggering height of 8 feet 11.1 inches. At the time of his death in 1940, his remarkable height was attributed to a pituitary gland abnormality, which led to an overproduction of growth hormone. Despite his enormous size, Wadlow was known for his gentle and amiable nature, and he actively participated in activities like Boy Scouts and school clubs. In 1936, at the age of 18, he joined the Ringling Brothers Circus as a featured attraction, touring the United States and Canada. Wadlow's fame led to a sponsorship deal with an international shoe company, which provided him with custom-made shoes to fit his size 37 AAA feet. However, this towering stature brought numerous health issues, including leg weakness, heart strain, and mobility challenges. Tragically, he passed away on July 4, 1940, at the age of 22, due to an infection caused by a blister on his ankle. Robert Wadlow's life was cut short, but his incredible height remained in match in recorded history, leaving a lasting legacy. Sultan Kozen The tallest living man was born in 1982 in modern Turkey and stands at an astounding height of 8 feet 2.8 inches. Similar to Robert Wadlow, his extraordinary height is the result of a pituitary gland tumor, which led to an excessive release of growth hormone. His growth continued until 2010 when he underwent successful surgery to remove the tumor, finally halting his extraordinary height. Throughout his life, Kozin faced various challenges such as finding suitable clothes and shoes and securing appropriate job opportunities. Nevertheless, he has maintained a positive outlook and embraced his unique stature. In 2009, Guinea's World Records officially recognized Kozin as the tallest living man and his newfound fame has opened doors for him to travel the world, appear on television shows, and attend various events. In 2013, he married his wife Merv Debo, who stands at 5 feet 8 inches tall. Sultan Kazan's inspiring story and gentle nature have endeared him to people worldwide. Yao Ming The basketball superstar was born in 1980 in Shanghai, China, and stands at an impressive height of 7 feet 6 inches. Ming's remarkable height is primarily attributed to genetics, as both of his parents were exceptionally tall. His father stood at 6 feet 7 inches and his mother at 6 feet 3 inches. Yao Ming's basketball journey began in China, where he played for the Shanghai Sharks in the Chinese Basketball Association. His exceptional skills and towering height captured the NBA's attention, leading to his selection as the first overall pick by the Houston Rockets in the 2002 NBA Draft. During his nine-year NBA career, Yao Ming became a global sensation and a dominant presence in the league. He earned eight NBA All-Star selection and was twice named to the All-NBA Second Team, as well as three times to the All-NBA Third Team. His presence in the NBA significantly contributed to the popularization of basketball in China and the globalization of the sport. Beyond his basketball achievement, Yao Ming dedicated himself to various philanthropic endeavors, including wildlife conservation and disaster relief. In 2016, he was rightfully inducted into the Nice Meat Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, solidifying his legacy as one of the most influential and impactful basketball players in the history. Up next, wrestling legend Andre the Giant, whose real name was Andre Rene Razumov, was a professional wrestler and actor. He was born in 1946 in Grenoble, France, and stood at a towering 7 feet 4 inches, weighing approximately 520 pounds. Andre the Giant's immense stature was the result of medical condition known as gigantism and acromegaly, both caused by an overproduction of growth hormone. Andre embarked on his wrestling career in the early 1970s and quickly became renowned for his incredible size, strength, and agility. His extraordinary physical attributes made him a dominant and beloved figure in the world of professional wrestling. He gained widespread recognition and affection from fans. During his wrestling career, 
Andre the Giant participated in unforgettable matches and rivalries, notably his iconic feud with Hulk Hogan. His fame extended beyond wrestling, as he successfully ventured into acting. One of his most notable roles was playing the beloved character physique in the 1987 film The Princess Bride. Despite his imposing appearance, Andre was known for his kind and gentle personality, endearing him to both fans and fellow wrestlers. Unfortunately, his colossal size took a toll on his health, leading to deteriorating physical conditions. He passed away in 1993 at the age of 46 due to congestive heart failure. Andre the Giant's legacy in the wrestling world remains unparalleled, and he was posthumously inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame in 1993. Next on the list is Vikas Opel, India's tallest man, was born in 1986 in Haryana, India. He was believed to be the tallest man in India, standing at an estimated height of around 8 feet 3 inches. However, it's important to note that Vikas Opel's exact height was never officially recorded by the Guinness World Records, as he was never formally measured. It is speculated that Opel's exceptional height was likely the result of the pituitary gland disorder, which is a common cause of extraordinary stature in individuals. Despite his extraordinary height, Vikas Opel led a relatively typical life in his hometown. He worked as a farm laborer and later pursued a career as a cloth merchant. His towering stature attracted significant attention from local media and the Indian public, and he even had some opportunities to work in the Indian film industry. Tragically, Vikas Opel's life was cut short when he passed away in 2007 at the young age of 21 while undergoing surgery to remove a tumor. Although his life was brief, Vikas Opel's immense height and gentle nature left a lasting impact on those who knew him. Next, Edward Beaupre. The Willow Bunch Giant was born in 1881 in Willow Bunch, Saskatchewan, Canada. He gained recognition as one of the tallest men of his time, standing impressively at 8 feet 3 inches tall. Beaupre's remarkable height was attributed to a pituitary gland disorder that led to an excessive release of growth hormone. From a young age, Edward Beaupre displayed exceptional strength, and as he grew older, his size and power drew the attention of traveling circuses and carnivals. At the age of 17, he embarked on a career as a strongman and wrestler, showcasing his extraordinary height and performing remarkable feats of strength. In addition to his work as a strongman, Beaupre pursued a career in professional wrestling, earning a reputation for his formidable size and skill in the ring. His fame led to performances across North America, where he delighted audiences with his unique talents. Regrettably, Beaupre's health began to deteriorate due to the challenges posed by his immense eyes, resulting in various health issues. He passed away in 1904 at the young age of 23 succumbing to a pulmonary hemorrhage. Despite his brief life, Edward Beaupre's legacy as the Willow Bunch Giant lives on, and his memory is commemorated by a statue in his hometown. Next is Trenta Cornelius Dr. Kiever, also known as the Giantess of Adam, was born in 1616 in Adam, Netherlands, making her the tallest woman in history. Standing at an astonishing height of 8 feet 4 inches, Kiefer's exceptional height was likely due to a hormonal condition similar to those experienced by other individuals with extraordinary stature. During her lifetime, her immense height made her a local celebrity, drawing people from far and wide to see her, including visits from royalty and nobility, such as Prince Maurice of Nassau. However, little is known about her personal life. She passed away at the young age of 17 in 1633, and the cause of her death remains unknown. Today, her story remains an extraordinary example of human height, and she is remembered as the tallest woman in history. And lastly, Sandra Elaine Allen, affectionately known as Sandy, was born in 1955 in Chicago, Illinois, USA, and stood at an impressive height of 7 feet 7.25 inches. Sandy Allen held the title of the tallest living woman according to the Guinness World Records from 1976 until her passing in 2008. Her extraordinary height was attributed to a pituitary gland tumor, leading to an overproduction of growth hormone. Throughout her childhood and adolescence, Sandy faced numerous challenges 
due to her exceptional height, including difficulties in finding appropriate clothing and shoes, as well as enduring teasing and bullying from her peers. However, as she transitioned into adulthood, she embraced her unique stature, viewing it as an opportunity rather than a hindrance. In the mid-1970s, Sandy reached out to the Guinness World Records to confirm her height, leading to her official recognition as the tallest living woman. This recognition brought about significant changes in her life. Sandy's newfound fame led to various opportunities such as television appearances, speaking engagements, and role in the 1981 film Sideshow. She used her platform to advocate for body positivity and acceptance speaking out against bullying and encouraging others to embrace their uniqueness. Sandy was known for a friendly and warm demeanor, earning her the nickname The Friendly Giantess. She often visited schools to share her inspiring story and promote kindness and acceptance among students. Despite her many accomplishments, Sandy faced a series of health challenges related to her height, including diabetes, arthritis, and mobility issues. In her later years, she moved to a nursing home where she continued to share her stories and inspire others until her passing in 2008 at the age of 53. Sandy Allen's legacy as the friendly giantess lives on through her message of acceptance and countless lives she touched with her warmth, kindness, and unwavering courage. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey into the world of real-life giants and unbelievable human marvels. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more captivating stories from history and beyond. Share your thoughts and other topics you'd like to explore in the comments below. Stay tuned for more astonishing tales and until next time, keep reaching for the extraordinary!